Do you experience neck and shoulder pain that comes and goes, as well as numbness in your arms and hands? Is your job currently requiring you to stay behind the computer for hours and you sometimes unknowingly have the wrong posture? If you have the symptoms that I had mentioned and you're over 40 years old, you could be suffering from arthritis in the neck or what we call a cervical spondylosis. Arthritis of the neck had been associated with aging. This is because over time, our intervertebral disc has the tendency to wear out. And this is common for those who are over 40 years old. But do you know that it may also happen for those who are younger? This is because it can be aggravated by certain occupation and faulty posture. Although neck osteoarthritis are common to both men and women alike, it tends to be more severe in men. The most common complaint that you will hear is pain that comes and goes in the neck area as well as numbness and tingling sensation in the arms and in the hands as the disease worsens. So stick with me until the end of this video so you will understand this condition better, know when to consider it as a medical emergency, and know about the three positions that you need to avoid to prevent this condition from becoming worse. Greetings again to everyone. This is again Doc Cherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. If you're new here in my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe and the bell button below so you will be a part of our growing community and you will receive weekly health videos on a weekend that will benefit our beloved seniors, you and your family. Numbness in the hands can be caused with other things such as complication of diabetes, lack of B vitamins, and even lack of magnesium. But if you experience numbness in your shoulder and hands and you also have neck pain, there is a high probability that you have osteoarthritis of the neck. The seven small vertebra that begin at the base of your skull and form the neck comprises your cervical spine. Neck osteoarthritis commonly affects the fifth and sixth bone of your neck because this is the area which allows greater movement and is more susceptible to arthritis. Your spine is connected to each other and forms a canal where your spinal cord and nerve passes, controlling your ability to move and feel different sensation. This explains why persons with cervical spondylosis in the later part of the condition would complain of tingling and numbness in the shoulder and hands since over time, the arthritic changes would result to bone spurs that could narrow the space in the canal leading to compression and impingement of the nerves. Upon physical examination, you will experience pain with neck movements especially when you move your head backwards like this. There is also limitation of motion. But to confirm the diagnosis, an x-ray of the cervical spine will be helpful. This is an example of an x-ray of the neck of a person without osteoarthritis. It has its normal curvature. And this is again the x-ray of a person with neck osteoarthritis. It loses its normal curvature and the cervical spine becomes straight. Although other persons who have been diagnosed with cervical spondylosis doesn't experience any symptoms at all, for those of you who have experienced the symptoms that I had told you earlier, you need to know when to consider neck osteoarthritis as a medical emergency. Have yourself check immediately if you notice loss of bladder or bowel control, if you notice weakness in your hands and in your legs, if you find it difficult to walk or you have difficulty with balance because this means that we already have a spinal cord involvement and this needs to be addressed immediately. If you think you have neck osteoarthritis, here are the three positions that you need to avoid. Number one, avoid extending your neck like this because this position will further narrow down the space in your intervertebral canal which would further compress the nerve. Number two, avoid extending and side bending your neck like this. 
because this will aggravate your symptoms. And number three, the most important thing that you should always be mindful of is to avoid a slouch posture. Always make a conscious effort about your posture. Always aim that your ear is always at shoulder level because slouching would really worsen cervical spondylosis or neck osteoarthritis. These are simple yet very important posture and positions that you need to be mindful of or else you might unknowingly worsen your condition. In majority of cases, if you will be mindful of your positions, if you will take an active part of your health, such as supplementing with B-complex, if you already have numbness and tingling sensation in your hands, and if you would promote overall joint health, you can manage neck osteoarthritis conservatively without surgery. If you missed out on my video on different options and how you can promote overall joint health, you can click on this video here. Thank you very much for your time in watching this video and since this advice is for free, please please don't forget to click the like button if you find this video helpful and please share this to your friends and your family members so that you are one with me in my goal in reaching and helping out more people. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless you.